Hey everyone, welcome to Moving Map. We do all things cameras with the dash of vlogs and a little bit of travel. And this is Camera Wars, the show where we give you the latest camera news and let you know just how the battle is heating up. First up, some big news for Fuji lovers. According to Fuji Rumors, September 2nd, Fujifilm will have an X Summit. Get it? The summit because it's a mountain. Fuji is Mount Fuji. Never mind. At this summit, they are expected to officially announce the GFX 50S2 and the GF35 to 70 f4.5 to 5.6. What is also rumored to be there is the new, never before rumored X camera. So technically, I guess it has now been rumored. Apparently, this will not be the much anticipated XH2. Although before, Fuji Rumors was saying there would be no new X camera this year. So what do they know? I personally hope this is the X-H2. I think it would be very cool to see what a new flagship APS-C camera looks like, especially considering it doesn't look like Canon or Sony will be giving us one anytime soon. But what do you think this camera will be? Is the X-H2 really out of the question? Drop in the comment section below and let me know. Next up, we have some ridiculous amount of patents coming out of Canon. According to Canon rumors, we have three lens patents. The first of which is the budget-friendly Canon RF 100-400 f5-7.1 to IS USM. This will be a smaller and lightweight lens and has been on the Canon rumors roadmap for quite some time now. These next two lenses definitely wouldn't be budget-friendly, but I do think they'd make a welcome addition to the RF mount. We have the 28mm f1.4 and the 35mm f1.4. It will be interesting to see if these lenses actually turn into anything because personally I thought the Canon was going to go with the f1.2 primes as a tradition. But while we were talking about tradition, this next pattern would completely break with tradition by giving you a camera with a grip. In it. But not just a normal grip, this grip would actually pass through the camera, creating a handle, giving, I, mean, I guess I should have just said that, it's it's a camera with a handle on it. It's like a hole with the handle. See, the donut hole has a hole in its center. While this design is, uh, let's call it special, it also looks like a terrible use of real estate. You're telling me that the R5 couldn't fit a heat sink in, but this camera's supposed to let you put your fingers through it? Personally, I think this is just Canon getting a little creative and not something they will actually pursue. But what do you think? Does this actually make any practical sense? Do you think this is really something that's coming in the future? Drop in the comment section below and let me know. And while you're down there, hit that subscribe button so I don't feel rejected by over 90% of you. Next up, if you had any doubt that in the next five years your mother would have a better camera than you, Bloomberg is now reporting that the iPhone 13 Pro will have a portrait video mode. Using a combination of LiDAR and wizardry, they will give you the ability to simulate bokeh in real-time video. Now let's be honest, this feature will almost certainly be terrible, but it is interesting to see how far smartphone cameras have come and in a few years may actually be usable. But what is usable now is that the iPhone 13 will also be adding ProRes video. That should make the footage much better to edit with and finally make the iPhone a viable B cam. At least more viable than the ZV-E10. And finally, the Nikon Z9 made some waves this week when Nikon rumors leaked information seemingly confirming some pretty impressive specs. Here's an extensive list of the specs and if you'd like to pause and look over them here. But some of the highlights are it will have a 45 megapixel stack sensor capable of shooting 30 frames per second. But even more interesting, it will also have a small file size mode that is capable of capturing anywhere between 120 to 160 frames per second. This feature sounds pretty unreal and if the autofocus that now supposedly tracks cars actually works, Nikon may have a real contender. As we know already this camera will shoot 8K but we have no idea if this will have raw support and while the rumors are saying 8K 30, I think if they can get the processing power down, the bigger body can handle 8K 60. You're crazy. <laughs> Now I made an entire video dedicated to the Z9 that you can check out here. I go into much more detail and give my thoughts on the Z9, but enough of my thoughts. What are your thoughts? Are you impressed from what you're hearing from this camera? Do you think this will be enough for Nikon to get a foothold in the mirrorless market? Drop in the comment section below and let me know. Well, that is the current state of the camera wars. If you've liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And until next time, peace.